video shot by a security camera behind the scenes at a drug bust and it wasn't exactly all work and no play we blurred the faces to protect the undercover officers in March, Polk drug investigators raided the Perkle Road home of 43-year-old Michael DeFalco near Lakeland. DeFalco has an extensive arrest record. He's done time in state prison for trafficking drugs. On this day, members of a multi-department task force claim they discovered drugs, weapons, and stolen property. A security camera they missed showed detectives also discovered a fun video game to play, Wee Bowling. And over the course of the next nine hours, game on, and here we go. Who's the man? That's right. Now he sets up for the spare. Ooh! This detective bowled frame after frame after frame. Practice makes perfect. And while another female detective lifted a couch looking for drugs, this guy focused on pin action. Now, you might be under the impression police work can get pretty exciting. Well, it can. Polk Sheriff Grady Judd calls the display embarrassing. Now, how do you explain it? Well, you can't explain that. My deputies know that they shouldn't have been playing we while they were involved in that search warrant. Detectives from the Sheriff's Office, Winter Haven, Auburndale, and Lakeland PDs participated in the raid all caught on camera. That doesn't please me. What pleases me less is the supervision that didn't say, turn the television off. Instead of ordering the video game and television turned off, this supervisor from Lakeland PD joined the fun. Wow, a strike. That raised the bar on several levels. It does have pretty good form. It does. Defense attorney Rick Escobar watched a sampling of the drug raid video. I've never seen anything uh, like this in... Um I find this very offensive, shocking, uh, embarrassing. I'm sure that the, uh, that the department uh, uh, is extremely embarrassed uh, by this behavior. Records show 16 detectives spent nine hours searching DeFalco's property. The cost to taxpayers, 4,000 bucks. All the citizens are thinking, well, wait a minute, we're, we're paying these people to go out there and protect us, and here they are playing, you know, bowling on our time. The sheriff argues there's always downtime during searches. No tax dollars were wasted. The nature of a search warrant is hurry up and wait. It just is. Am I trying to defend the fact that they were bowling? Not at all. That was inappropriate. The sheriff claims he launched an internal administrative investigation and will wait for a final report before he decides if anyone will face discipline. It's an embarrassment to the, the detectives involved, and it's an embarrassment to the organization. But you know what? We employ 1,800 people. Not one of them are perfect. We all make mistakes. They made a mistake. I have got to get me one of those. Now, the question that's being asked is, did their actions, the actions of these detectives, impact this case or any other cases that they're involved in? One defense attorney argues yes. We will explore that tomorrow. Six months. After the raid, DeFalco was still sitting in the Polk County Jail. He's facing several charges, including trafficking, possession of drugs, grand larceny, and owning and operating a chop shop. Long list of charges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is embarrassing for the okay. sheriff's office yeah. and for all of those officers, but how did they miss the computer? Well, you know, you just can't find everything in one of these searches. You think they do, but they really don't. And this, this camera was motion-activated, wireless security camera, was disguised as a computer speaker. DeFalco's uh, computer was actually recording the whole thing. Detectives took 98 items as evidence into custody. They forgot to take the computer. They missed the camera, the wireless camera, and they forgot to take the computer. Where was the computer? Where was it? It was, uh, my understanding, it was right on the kitchen counter. But you know, they, their mind might have been on other things. Apparently so. I saw a lot of it. Thank you, Steve. I'm sure there's more to come on this one. To watch more of the video Steve uncovered in this investigation, go to tbo.com and use the keyword drug bust.